Understanding Post-Virginity Bleeding Hello, and welcome to today's discussion on a sensitive, yet crucially important, topic related to sexual health. Today, we'll address the question, can bleeding occur after losing virginity even if you have had your period before? This is an issue that can be confusing and even worrisome for many people, so it's important to clear up any misconceptions. What is virginity and what happens when you lose it? Virginity refers to someone who has not had sexual intercourse. When a person loses their virginity, it's often referred to as first-time sex. During this time, there may be some bleeding, which can happen even if the person has had their menstrual period before. The bleeding is not related to menstruation, but is usually due to breaking or stretching of the hymen, a thin membrane at the entrance to the vagina. Why does bleeding occur? The hymen has a degree of elasticity and can stretch during the first sexual intercourse, which may cause some bleeding. It's important to note that not every person with a vagina will bleed during their first sexual experience. The amount and presence of bleeding can vary greatly from person to person, and some might not experience any bleeding at all. The presence or absence of bleeding does not definitively indicate virginity or the lack thereof, as many activities like sports, tampon use, or even manual penetration can cause the hymen to stretch or tear. What else could cause bleeding? While hymenal stretching or tearing is a common cause, other factors may also lead to post coital bleeding irrespective of virginity status. Some of these include vaginal dryness, infections, or certain medical conditions like endometriosis. If bleeding is heavy, persistent, or accompanied by other symptoms like pain, it's important to seek medical advice, as it may indicate a more serious issue. In conclusion, yes, it is possible to experience some bleeding after losing virginity, even if you've had your period before. However, the experience is highly individual, and not everyone will bleed. If you have concerns about bleeding or any other aspect of sexual health, don't hesitate to seek advice from healthcare professionals. Remember, it's important to engage in sexual activity that is safe, consensual, and respectful to both partners. Thanks for watching and stay informed about your health.